Hey guys, Mr. Weens here. Gonna go over a science lesson for you today. We are starting a new unit, uh, learning all about the physical properties of matter. What is matter, you ask? Matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Matter. Anything that has mass and takes up space. We're going to be adding that to our science journal. What is mass, though, you ask? Well, mass is the amount of matter sometimes measured in grams. So mass is how much matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. All right, that's two vocabulary words. We're gonna be exploring some physical properties of matter. Physical properties. Now, physical properties are used to describe matter. They include your five senses. Mass, shape, magnetism, temperature, relative density, volume, thermal, and electrical conductivity. All right, that's another vocabulary word. Make sure you include that in your science journal. All right, so today we're going to start with the physical property of relative density. Relative density is how dense something is compared with a reference material. Relative density is how dense something is compared with a reference material. So for relative density, the reference material we most often use is water. We're gonna find out if objects are more dense or less dense than water. If an object is less dense than water, it'll float. If an object is equally as dense as water, it'll stay in the middle. But if you have an object that is more dense than water, it'll sink. All right, guys, I got some materials. We're going to place some water and we're going to find out how dense they are. All you need is a cup, some water, and some objects to test. All right, we're gonna start with the boat, the green boat. Do you think this boat will sink or float? Make your prediction now, sink or float. Here we go. And it is a float, we got a float. All right, the next object is a wooden block. A wooden block. It's made out of wood, just like this desk. Will it sink or float? If it's less dense than water, it'll float. If it's more dense than water, it'll sink. Here we go. And wow, how many said float? So it is less dense than water. It floats. All right, let's, let's stick with blocks. Let's see, we got another block right here. It's made out of a sponge. Real similar, it's made out of a sponge, real similar to what you would see in your kitchen. See how squeezy that is? Now, is that gonna sink or float? Make your prediction now. Is it less dense or more dense than water. If it's less dense, it floats. If it's more dense, it sinks. Wow, that stayed right on top of the water. That is float. Now, sponges have a unique quality. They can suck in water. What would happen if I got water inside the sponge? Do you think it would sink or float? Let's try it. Oops, couldn't get enough water in there. So it stayed less dense than the water and it floated. All right, here's our final block shape. We got a metal block. This thing is made out of metal. 
hear that? Really hard material right here. Do you think it is less dense than water and will float? Or more dense than water and will sink? Make your predictions now. Three, two, one. If you can't tell, it went straight to the bottom. Straight to the bottom, look at that. So it is more dense than the water. More dense, so it sinks. All right, our next object. We'll go with this rubber ducky here. Rubber ducky is found in a lot of bathtubs. So do you think it'll sink or float? Less dense or more dense? It floats. It is less dense than water. All right, bath time's over, ducky. Next we have a giant marble. This is the big old glass marble. Hear that? It's hard as well. So, do you think it's more dense or less dense than water? Three, two, one. That is more dense and it sinks. All right, we are down to our last two objects. We got another kind of sponge and we got a key, like a house key. We're gonna start with the key. Is it more dense or less dense than water? Make your predictions now. Sink or float? Three, two, one. In case you can't see, it is at the bottom, guys. That means it is more dense than water. All right, here goes our last one. Our last one. We got the sponge. Now this isn't as squeezy as the other sponge. Look at this other one back here. So this one you can squeeze real. You can't really squeeze this one. So it's a little bit harder. Do you think this sponge is less dense and will float or more dense and will sink? Make your prediction. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't know if that showed up on the camera, but the sponge got bigger as it absorbed the water. But as of right now, it is floating. It is less dense than the water. Now I got an eyedropper here. If it works, I'm gonna put some water on top of the sponge and see if we can make it sink. What do you guys think? We got water, put it on top. Nope, it's still floating. Which object do you think if we put it on top of the sponge would make it sink? Do you think this boat will make it sink? Nope. Do you think the wooden block will make it sink? A little bit, but not much. Rubber ducky. That didn't help. How about this sponge? Doubt it. Nope. You think the key? You think the key's enough? Oh, we pushed it down a little bit, but it's still floating. Let me try this metal block. Metal block on top of the sponge. There we go. That finally made it more dense than water. It made it sink. All right, guys, that is relative density. All right, guys, now it's your turn. With your parent or guardian's permission, see if you can find items around your house that are less dense than water and items around your house that are more dense than water. And let us know what they are. Thanks.